Hey everybody, welcome back to the show. Don't be dumb, check your bum. Yeah, absolutely. We're going to be talking about uh, destigmatizing the stool today with Dr. Duncan Miller. That's his term. <laughs> That's his tagline. So we are taking Duncan, the how are stigma you, man? out of stool, is that what we're doing? Yeah, I thought you know, it would be good to talk about one of the least glamorous cancers. Not that cancer is ever kind of glam, but yeah. it doesn't really get the credit it deserves. And no, and women talk about breast cancer, they talk about cervical cancer, yeah. and it's an open dialogue. Yeah, but and prostate for men, cancer now is it's pretty... Something that is not discussed. So yeah. let's talk about colon cancer first of all. Okay. How common is colon cancer? Well, it's the number three. So breast and prostate are the most common, yeah. then lung, and then colon. But the real shtick with it is it's the second cause of cancer death of all the cancers. So Interesting. So it's a yeah. really deadly one. And yeah. is that because people aren't proactive enough in, in catching it? Or is that because it's just a Yeah, I think, I think I think it takes a while to develop symptoms. And by then, it's too late. And also, I don't think that uh, you know, in large, we're not doing a good enough job screening yeah. for it. And this one, is it equal between men and women? Yeah, uh, yeah. Uh, colon same. cancer? Yeah, so one in one in 30. Okay. So at what age and how does one get screened, male or female? Is it something you just now, need to ask? This is where we do the example, right? Yeah. Is yeah. This, okay. <laughs> On you. <laughs> in sense around. I mean. um, so basically, it really depends on your family history, first of all. Uh, if you have a family history, you should go 10 years before that person in your family was diagnosed. Okay. Otherwise, really about age 50. Okay, and and what is involved in in this exam? Uh, I am well, past the threshold of having prostate checks, so I've had that experience. Yeah, before. that's like you know step one is similar to the prostate exam. Make sure your family doctor has small fingers, <laughs> right. and no is, rings, and no is, jewelry. Yeah, you know, don't hold back on the lube, please. You know, just bring it on. Um, so bring it on. Is that what you tell your doctor <laughs> professionally? Yeah, exactly. Just, uh, just wait. Why are both hands on your but shoulders? But is it the but, same uh, as getting the yeah, prostate it's a, it's exam? A, yeah, Exactly, exactly. And then and then you should really do a test of your stool for uh, blood, microscopic blood. Okay. Um, there's the old version where you do three different tests and it's a pain in that. Um, yeah. The newer one that you have to pay for, 35 bucks, which is far more accurate. Okay. And then beyond that, at some point in your 50s, you should have the full meal deal, which is the old... And camera up the poop chute, a so colonoscopy. That's a, that's a, a scope thing? Yeah, it's a scope actually... thing. And the worst part of that is the preparation, because you have to have like clear so liquid diet. Yeah. 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 And then they used to have this stuff called go lightly, which is kind of cruel, because it's a bit like, you know. <laughs> a, you you know. go lightly. The porcelain purge. Right. Your You're entire just like yeah, putting exactly. the hole in the porcelain. Go lightly is not descriptive <laughs> of what happens. So you, is that what happens Did when you're sort of. Did you just say putting a hole in the porcelain? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so that's at 50, you start really thinking yeah, about that. Yeah, you should have that. And then if you have one, the beauty of it, if we can use that term, yeah. but the beauty of it, it's not only can you diagnose it before it becomes cancer, but if you have these little polyps, you can get rid of them and then reduce your risk. All and how important go. is early detection as far as colon cancer goes? It makes all the difference in the world. Like, yeah. all the difference in the world. Because if you get it before it you know, becomes more advanced, you're cured, yeah. right? Because surgery is the only cure. Uh, there's chemotherapy, but you know, mm -hmm. it's harsh and it doesn't necessarily cure. Well, okay, let's talk about decreasing your risk yeah. because there are a lot of things that people can do to be proactive. What can they do? Well, it's, Diet? it's sort of, yeah, it's the motherhood statements like don't smoke, exercise, don't get too pudgy, and unfortunately, don't drink too much. Right. Um, and then diet. You sound really sad about that. <laughs> um, <laughs> Everything in moderation. You know, the horror. <laughs> um, and and like red meat and preserved meats are bad for you. So uh, keep those in a minute. Yeah, if, you know, fruit and veg. They used to say high fiber, but now they're saying fiber doesn't really do much. But it's yeah. you know it makes you have nice stomachs. Uh, all this sort of goes back I just, to me. He just keep on missing his best lines. Oh, did, you, did you hear what he just no, said? No, I missed the last. <laughs> Repeat that, please. Fiber makes you have nice dumps. <laughs> there you go. If you, know, if you want to bark out a haggis, have some fiber. He's a medical <laughs> professional, people. Okay. Please don't try this at home. You know, all of this to me Years seems like 
Uh, it highlights the importance. Don't distract me, man. Highlights the importance of having a good relationship and a good family physician. Someone with who small, knows, small hands. With small hands and no jewelry. But that really well, is that's because extra. it makes that conversation easier to have. You're a worse smart ass than I am. I okay. know. Well, it's, that's why I'm here. But it is really important, isn't it? I mean, oh, to it have is, that comfort is. level where you can talk about this stuff with your doctor. I, I mean, I mean, let's face it. You know, cancer is an awkward thing to talk about. Yeah. Your bowel habits aren't exactly, you know, first date conversation, right? Yeah. So the combination of the two, it's not something that you really want to talk about. Right? Yeah. And, uh, uh, is it comfortable for you when a patient brings these things up and talks about it now? It's just well, part of the say, gig? part of the gig, you know? That's yeah. the glamorous part of my job. Yeah, right? and do you have to prompt people a lot of times to have this conversation and, and start thinking about, you know, once they're approaching that 50 threshold to, to say, look, you know, this is something you got to put on your radar. And yeah, I mean, basically, I say I'm in risk management, right? You're, nobody gets out of here alive. It's either heart disease, stroke, or cancer, and then yeah. cancer, did 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 right? So yeah. should you get a yearly physical yeah. for both yeah. men and women? Yeah, definitely. And I mean, certainly at age 40, I encourage people to do it. Yeah. Well, thank do you like you it when people dress up in theme costumes to come in and see uh, you? Yeah, and certainly, checkup? you know, superheroes are always <laughs> Where welcome. Where did that come know? from? Well, I just, I want to make it more fun for Duncan when he has yeah. money. All right, well, you guys get on that Thanks. and let me know how it goes. Thank you so much. Pleasure. Always nice to see you. I will never look Thanks, at a haggis the job. same way. We're going to take a quick break.